Thanks for checking out this unboxing video. And what we have here is the August BAM box. So I'm very excited for this one because this is the very first one that there's no theme to. Some of the themes in the past were really good. Oop, you can see my microphone, sorry. Uh, some of the themes in the past were really cool, but some of them they got kind of like weird. And um, Adam from BAM box, the CEO, had said that it kind of pigeonholed them into trying to get certain items and they had to pass certain items up that were really cool that they otherwise could have done. So they're now to this format of no themes, which I'm super excited about. So they put out like a teaser the the month before of what the franchises will be for the, the next uh, upcoming box. Um, but I'm not gonna talk about that kind of stuff just because I don't you know wanna spoil anything for anyone if they don't wanna know the franchises at all. So, uh, I do look at those though, and knowing that, I'm pretty excited about some of the stuff in here, and even more excited for the franchises that will be for the September one. Also, to let you know real quick, I they started doing a horror box, like a strictly horror box for BAM. Had to sign up for that, love horror stuff, so I will be getting the horror box in September as well. That's the first month for it is September, so look for that in addition to the regular BAM box. Anyway, let's get into this. Hoping for good things. I did see some people post in the Bambox community on Facebook that, um, no spoilers, but that uh, they really like the box. But then again, you never really know because you don't know who that person is, what they typically like. You know, could be different for me. I don't know. As per usual, some nice tissue paper for my cat. Chloe, come get your tissue paper. All right. There's something in here that feels weird. I think I'll just pull that out first. It feels like a bird or something. It's shaped like a bird or something, like it has a tail. I'll pull that out first because it's very odd. Oh, it's it's legit a shark. Oh my god. <laughs> so this is the Sharknado item. Oh my god, this is actually pretty awesome. Like awesomely hilarious. Um, so this is their signed item, their autographed item, and it's uh, Sharknado. And as you can see there, there's an autograph. Oh, there's a uh, lighting app better there. Um, can you guess who signed this plastic shark? Oh, none other than the, <laughs> the person, well, the main person in the Sharknado films who that's what they need for this, Tara Reed. That's hilarious. My mother had uh, had caught some of the Sharknado movie because every now and then she likes to check in on the ridiculousness of sci-fi uh, made-for-TV movies. And she saw some of it and she was just like, Tara Reid, so terrible. So she'll be pretty excited when I let her know about this. She'll think it's funny. So That's funny. That's cool. I, I, I legit like that because it's so absurd. I don't know. All right, so patch. I'm not huge on patches, but <laughs> is this uh, Vigo the Carpathian? Yes, from Ghostbusters Two. Yep, Vigo the Carpathian. Which the back looks interesting. Look at the colors on the back. Oh. It's not the light gets any better. Not really. Sorry, but yeah, Vigo Carpathian. That's all right. Not huge on patches, but it's okay. I mean, it's cool design. Um, there's a flat item. I got another one up. Killer. Oh my god, this is my third box in a row with a one up. That's super, super exciting. So I'll be looking for what this one up item is in here. I hope it's a, the pin. I always, pins are my favorite, and I always like the one up pins. So the next item we have is d from Dark Matter Props. Bambox edition. So this is exclusive for Bambox, a prop made by Dark Matter Props. Darkmatterprops.com. Well, I can show you the box. See? Dark Matter Props. There you go. What's inside? Oh, okay. Gotcha. This is one of the things I was not interested in. Just because it's for a game that I don't know much about. I've never played it before. I'm going to take this out of the because it's a better way to show it. Uh, so it looks like it's up like a medallion, a pendant from Witcher. 
Um, as you can see, it's trying to get it in like the best light. There you go. It's like this wolf head thing. Like I've it's and it's metal. Um, it's hollow on on the back, but um, I've seen this logo for uh, the Watcher. But like I said, I don't know much about the Watcher. I haven't played it. Um, but I know some people who like it, so maybe I can hand this off to them. And it also comes with there's like a little you know silky bag in there. Yeah. So and it says Witcher Wolf Medallion from Witcher Three Wild Hunt. So that's a good item. That's a, uh, I say that's a decent item for if you like that, which I it's just not my thing. So, uh, okay, I'll just do the pin now. Oh, 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 that's cool. Okay, so this is uh, limit one of this is my one up is my pin, which I'm happy about. Uh, this one's only 250 of them done, and it is from The Simpsons. Oh, I'm sorry, from Futurama. Sorry, Futurama Sync Creators. That's why I get confused. Um, from Futurama, they have like a sequence where they have all these. I'll take it out of here. All these like floating heads in like liquid. And so it's that and it's Leonard Nimoy. R.I.P. Leonard Nimoy. He was a cool dude. I never got to meet him or anything, but that's cool. That looks really good. Once again, good design, really nice pin. Uh, limited release of 250. They're numbered on the back. Kind of makes me wonder what number I got. All right, I'm going to take it off just to, to know. I got number 27 out of 250. So pretty low number. That's cool. All right. That's cool. I like that. As always, they're doing a really good job with their pins. Next. Is this art print? And that might, this might be it. This might be the last item. I'm not sure. Oh, oh, this is cool. Oh, this is really interesting. Okay, so I know one of the items was supposed to be Joker. So this actually incorporates Joker as well as Batman. And it is a kind of feudal Japan take on Joker versus Batman. Uh, there are 1,500 of this print made. I got number 902. And this is by Chrissy Chung is the artist. So check that. Out. There you go. You can see it there. So you got like the feudal Japanese looking uh, Joker there and you got Batman on his steed. That's pretty sweet. That's nice. That's what I'm saying. Their pins and their prints are always really good. I think that might be it. Yes, that was it. Oh, they went back to like full on booklet. They haven't been doing booklets. Uh, Bambox August 2017. It's got the Sharknado going on on there. So that's fine. Uh, so the other pins that you could have gotten, one that has Bender's head in it that says Rodriguez, that's cool. And another one that was limited to 500 that has, says Dr. John and it's Zoidberg. That one's also cool. Um, the one I got was the most rare because there was the regular one, the 500 and the 250 and the Leonard Nemo is 250. So you can kind of see those. Very cool. Then we have the Witcher dog tags right there. There's really nothing special about those. The Tara Reed Sharknado signed shark. Hand signed by Tara Reed. That's just funny. They have a little promo for the horror box right there. Um, yeah. And do, do, do. okay. Oh, oh man. I actually, as cool as I think that art print is, I think the other art print that was available is more what I had interest in because, mm, yeah, because it's basically a different take on the Joker from the, uh, the, the Killing Joke comic, which is obviously the most popular uh, Batman comic. So that would have been cool. Um, and then there's supposed to be a replica in there. Can we, did I miss that? Oh, I did miss it. It is in here. I was like, did that not come? This is funny, actually. It's, I uh, wish I would have, like, looked, looked. I didn't expect something this small. So it's an ID of McLovin from Superbad. Looks legit. Looks exactly like 
McLovin. That's pretty funny. I like that. That's funny. It's a fun item. And then that's it. And they had a contest. Oh, yeah. And then they had the fan art collection patch. It's all about that there. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, overall, I thought this autograph was really funny slash fun. So down with that. The pins were really cool. Really cool. Both the art prints were really cool. Wish I got the other art print just because I preferred that, but I still really like this one. Um, patches, I don't really care that much, but it's designed well. The McLovin thing, it's funny. I'm not like a huge fan, but and the Witcher pendant. Well made, cool looking, not really for me because I don't really care about the game. But I can give that away. Overall, happy with it. Um, significantly more interested for next month. Uh, but yeah, thank you everyone for checking this out. Check in next month when I will do the September regular band box as well as the September horror band box, which will be the very first horror band box in existence. So hopefully there's some really cool stuff there. Anyway, if you guys do want to see any teasers for the franchises, you can just go to the website or find them on Facebook. Uh, they post those types of things. So anyway, thanks again, and until next time, keep it brutal.